Yes, welcome to Demon Souls. Now, I'll preface that I have played this game uh, through already, just because I was so excited. I didn't record any of it. Um, I'm going to start over, start a brand new game. I'm not going to do the new game plus. Um, we're going to stay offline because I want to be in control of my world tendency, which is something you'll notice throughout and about. Um, some things unlock when it's pure white or black. Um, and if you're online, other people's tendency affects the world tendency, so I'm just going to have it just myself. And I'm not really much of a magic user. I don't understand why a hunter has better posture than a priest and a magician has best posture. Ah, uh, let's see here. So, well, I don't really care about the magic, but I like the Dexterity, strength, and endurance. Ten, ten. I mean, this is the suit that I plan on using anyways. It's just... Might as well. So do I want the knight or the temple knight? Ten, eleven, fourteen, ten. Eleven, thirteen, fourteen, twelve. Okay, so that's just better for what I'm looking for. So I will go with the temple knight. Starting gift. No. No. Prices item discovery. I guess we'll start with that uh, ring. Now, I don't really care what my character looks like too much because I am going to be wearing a helmet. But I'd like some really kind of badass looking. Actually, you know what I'll do? Huh. I'll do that and then just give him a sick beard. Works for me. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. But the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. 
The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land, but none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight Gaal Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? So yeah, hopefully you got all that. It's been kind of confusing for me. Um, the first three or four times. I actually had to look up the lore, but it's, it's pretty wild. Um, I will do the... I'll just play this as though I've never played it before. This isn't blind, but we'll just pretend. So hopefully you get the whole story. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, so I can use... I don't know what that was. Let's look at our kit here real quick. So I've got a swingy and a... Oh, it's only a swing. I can't poke with this? That'll be changed soon. Um, I don't really care about this is magic related. I've actually not used this uh, set of armor. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a heal. All right. Well, that's pretty neat because I've got three crescent moons. Ah, oh, man. The lighting, though. Lovely. Astonished. Yeah. It pokes, but it's not really... Not really, uh... Stabby stab one. So I don't think it'll do piercing damage. Which will... All have to change. I like to be one handed. Can I climb up there? Yeah. So, something that I. Something I found out um, by accident. I hit a wall and, and it disappeared. So now I. Constantly 
If a wall looks suspicious, I will attack it. Look at this fire, though. I hope it shows up well on YouTube. I don't really like that attack. I think this is all just decor. Oh, that's the shield I have. Which I really like, because I am a sucker for green. it wasn't the best view with the whole tight quarters but ooh piece of candy and now they're gonna show see this looks like something I could jump over which yeah I will have to I guess I was jumping over that. Can I go through here? What is that? Sounds like a bit of a dragon. That's wild. You can hear the screams of people. And the dragon just... Snarling. And those water effects. Oh. Lovely. Just lovely. Good old backpack. I don't really have a use for that. I don't want to, there is something I want to play around with. Because it's epic. Wow. That's awesome. That is just cool. Ooh, piece of candy. No. Yes. That is just crazy. Brutal. Alright, so I think we're done here. Let's touch the arch stone. Behind me? No. And I love that. I mean, I'm a sucker for, well, apparently not only green, but a sucker for, uh, destroying environment so if I could smash pots and barrels oh yeah what if I could parry this bare hand To be fair, I 
pretty much just finished this game. This playthrough. Oh. There's a big blue boy. Um, a week ago? That guy messed me up the first time I ever saw one. So hopefully this means we have a good chance of defeating the tutorial boss. Another one? Oh man. The game must know. <gasps> You want me to attack me? Come on. Embarrassing. Now the red boys, they will mess you up though. I gotta fix that, I need to get some more, more endurance. I wonder if I can unequip, uh, 99%? Oh, I am a fat boy. Hmm, I don't know if I'll be able to beat the boss if I can't roll. Chains. Wow. Because you can't parry this boss. And if you beat this boss, then you get, uh... Well, you'll see. Maybe. I'll explain it if I... <laughs> fail to... <laughs> fail to beat him. I think there'd be an item here for the people that will roll. Oh boy, that's not much at all. Wait, how did I get 14? quick about it. Let's equip that half moon. I'm sure we'll need that before we need those. then that's just more items I get to keep I suppose damn it I rolled into that idiot soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel then strength be granted so the world might be mended soul of the lost 
withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. You have died and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape. Escape the Nexus. Well, you can't escape it either, but... However... Excuse me. <clears throat> by capturing demons' souls, you can reclaim your corporal body. And which we won't be worrying too much about. So what's this next rule? Uh... What? Next seal binding. Relinquish all souls and return the night. Nah, don't care about that. Um. Okay. Whilst we are here, let's talk to everybody. Who are you? Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. I just realized. There we go. Much cooler. Well, that helmet's kind of lame. It's like something out of Monty Python. But... You came for demon souls? But it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. This guy is a We're welcome downer. Here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> Anything else? You came for but We're welcome. <laughs> no, okay. Who are you? You new here? Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living, and with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? I have 197. Huh. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see here. I've got that shield. Nice, what it cost to. So that's one thing I noticed is I'm surprised at least the... Uh, Do come I would say this. I need your business. I would say this is kind of an RPG, but uh, usually you can sell items back to shopkeepers. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Mm-hmm. When the scouts came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Ah, uh, sir, you have some baggage of your own. All right, so. Because I got the deluxe version, I got some cool goodies. Oh, yeah. Since I'm already fat, I might as well. 
add that. So this heaps cooler. The ring of longevity. I don't really like this shield all that much. Physical defense is a hundred. But it can't, it's because it can't parry, and I like to parry. This guy, I don't think I'm strong enough for it. <gasps> I am. Don't care about those. I will actually put that in there for now. Fair book grains. Fire resistance. Rest assured, yeah. your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Now, was there anything else you had to say? When the scourge came, I wish nope. I could do more. Best of luck to you. All right, let's get this cool kit. All right, so it actually weighs a little less. Rock on. That weighs less. Weighs less. Weighs less. I know it's not quite as strong defensive wise, but it, it weighs less and it looks badass. That'll be handy temporarily. Hmm. If I do that, I'm kind of back where I was. God, that's a powerhouse. I'm just. I'm not great with great swords. Or two-handed swords, anything heavy. I'm, I like uh, quick, and they're both the same style. So, what I'll do is send that back to storage. No need. Send that to storage, 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 and storage. It's cool. Um, it's nice to have the defense, but it looks keeps better. Where are we at? Oh, memories. Let's see. Okay, that's like magic. Okay. What's our HP? 311. All right. Right on. Used to love that band. Let's see if I remember correctly, there's a few more people hanging out here. Yeah. Oh, my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for King Alant, failing to show proper respect? Oh, Mbasa. Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Also, with this helmet on, the breathing is super intense. Anybody else? No. What about over here? Nobody. Okay. Well then, as this gentleman said, let's partake in Boletaria. That's a big burb. I love this place. It's just so cool. Medieval. Foggy. Dragons. So, as you can see, we've got like a blue haze around us. Because we are in what's known as soul form. So we're dead. But, uh... We can come here in soul form and do our things. 
which is how I'm going to primarily play the entire game. What's over here now? Now that gate opens up later on. Uh, I'll explain it once I disappoint this person. Um, let me see if I can pause this and... No, I can't. This is tendency. You have world and character. Right now, I'm a good boy. Pure world tendency. All these are sitting at neutral on the bottom. And uh, the more demons you kill, uh, like the bosses, it'll shift towards white tendency. And uh, the more you kill NPCs, or if you die while you have your body form, it'll shift to black tendency. Now white tendency will open up some gates like the one uh, like this one here, and then you can get all those candies over there. Um, and the closer you are to white, enemies are easier. Um, but each soul in the top right hand corner, I have 65, you get less of them. Now, with black tendency, you get more souls. But, they are harder. So like, I got six souls for this homeboy. Dick. Um, six souls for that guy. In pure black, it might be eight or nine. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Sometimes when I talk too, I don't concentrate like I should. Pine resin. What that'll do is light my uh, weapon on fire, so then I can do fire damage. Fire, fire. down the hole. Yes. I'm going to save those for now. But, uh, I actually thought I could go down there once. Because it looks like you could. And, uh, as soon as you get, like, a little halfway down where those timbers are sticking out, yeah, you die. So. Guess not. Slow. Fire bomb just says what it sounds like. Bomb of fire.
Then there's these little fog gates, which, uh, I have a love-hate, because they like, look awesome, but then you don't know what's on the other side. Usually it's a boss, but not always a boss, which is what makes it kind of like, ah, crap. Just poke. And that's 70. Mm. We'll give it a try just to just to see. It's like a rapier kinda. But the little little one, little stabby stab. Rubbish for range. Actually for here, however. Yeah, those barrels usually go boom. Nah. Not a fan. I see you in there. Definitely looks like a trap. And that's is a boulder, so as soon as you get here, this guy's like, ha! Huh. And that's when you go down and get this bad boy. You bastard. Which is a two handed weapon. You want to start actually just with one hand? Yeah, it's a two handed weapon. I forgot to look at the damage. 95. It's just going to be much slower. And with this, I don't care so much about slow on the torch. It's heavier. And s I don't know. We'll see. We'll give it a. We'll get about a go. Nine. Not great in tight spaces. To be fair, neither was the... Mm -hmm. Not I really hate these spear decks. Still can't one-shot them. I'm slower. Now, down here is one of the boys of the armor that I'm wearing. And they are a bastard, so I am not going to try that now. Way more satisfying to do it later on when I actually have a chance. 
so we're gonna venture this way. I guess I didn't need to go around there. And here's a blue boy. That's why you never turn your back. F move grass. You always sit with your back against the corner. And never turn your back on an enemy. So now, Ding and Dong are going to kill themselves, which is perfect, but I think that was meant to show you that these barrels go boom with fire, so you need to be careful. So that's a long ways down, so you will die if you fall. Which is another good time for... survivor oh, there's a few of you guys hanging out there okay and here is a shortcut which is awesome because I went up and all the way around Ah, that's what I want. I don't care too much about this as I do this. So now I have like three quarter health, 75%. Wouldn't insult for him, because I got half of my health. Oh, when we did the chains, drop down these guys. Old raggedy old boots. And a jade hair ornament. Ooh. Um, the armor. Really? It's better defense? And it weighs less? Oh no, better than the helm. Worse than that. Okay, so. Okay, alright. Um, so yeah, when you're in soul form, you have half of your health available to you. Um, so when you get your body back you got your you know full health back so that ring it just brought it up to 75% instead of 50% which is pretty nifty bail means this is not a walkthrough either this is the second time I played this game and this is mm, I guess technically my first real souls game I played Sekiro I didn't I didn't beat it, it was just kicking my, my fanny way too hard, so I went on to something else at the time and never went back to it, but I'm definitely going to go back to it now. So this is just, you know, what I've found out through playing the game the first time. Things I should have done that I didn't do, things I should not do that I did do. Hello, sir. That was a bold leap. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. You can't do it?
I really thought I was going to be able to. What you think, bud? My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Great, a telescope. So I can see the bullshit. And now he goes on. And you have to, like, protect him. Claymore. Oh, all right. Now that's a big boy, but I don't care about that either. What I want is in here. Scimitar. That is my friend. Well, I don't care about that. This has hecky, slashy style. Very handy. And now he's going over here, going on ahead. To make sure you keep him alive. What are you on about? Definitely a one handed weapon. Before he gets going too crazy. Oh, come on, really? Sorry, mate. I killed them all for you. Now I take my leave. There is something I must do. Sounds rather noble of you. I wonder what it is he must do. I, li I literally don't know. Then I think he just wanders this courtyard back and forth. I guess he's gonna kill him. But you see how this weapon's much quicker. Yes, it works up my uh, endurance. But, uh, I don't know. Okay. I guess a half moon, since they have plenty of them. Oh, what? Come on. Now I've got an arrow in my back. Why is my pair not working? I'm just doing that bad. Oh, I need to get rid of this arrow dick. Here, better take this just to be safe.
but very fast. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder if you just had a back spasm. I, I didn't. I didn't think enemies could kill each other. I know they can die by fire that an enemy had lit, but I didn't think they could actually kill each other. Oh wait, where did we go? He fell. Oh. Remember correctly, there's some homeboys that want to jump down. Oh, is it not? I thought there was. Yeah. Oh, great, and the spear boy. So it doesn't quite have the same attack. Maybe I should have this up just in case. But it's heaps lighter and it's faster. Too, it depends if I do a heavy attack or a light attack. And here's this homeboy. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling me? I'm telling. I'm telling. But yes, I care to look over your wares. Ah, that's better. The long sword. Eighty. Hmm. So I don't need any grass. I'm half tempted to get the long sword, but I have the scimitar. I don't know. We'll come back to it if we need to. Brave we'll see knight to or lowly fodder. The demons snatched their souls regardless of their station, plummeting them all into madness. And those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down. It is the end of great boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> They're weird since humor, homie. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. I know. I'll be back. Oh. This guy likes to light those barrels on fire. So I figured I'd save him the trip. Actually, the stamina regenerates pretty quickly. Not too bad. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Another foggy do. Hmm. This really tripped me up the first time. But you see there's like a little rope right there. And then there's like a bunch of boulders in there. 
we just cut the rope. Apparently you get run over too, but I don't know. It does look for us. Yay. There's Boletaria. Kingdom. That's badass. Those uh mountain peaks. Got a spear bricks in the game. Guarding a lot of nice candy. Ooh. Luckily, he can't hit me. Couple candies down here. Archstone shard. Full moon grass. Which I'm not going to bother wasting. It's a cool little trick to get some of that stuff. I wish you could eat and run at the same time. God knows I can. Dragon homeboy. To fly over here. And then, while he's doing his thing, run over here. To be fair, where are you going? Awesome job with the sound design. Probably could have made it by now. Rather cute experience. Are you gonna do it again? Yes. Okay. 
Now I got to do that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. And that's why the shortcuts are unlocked. So there's our first real death. So now, if you look in the top right hand corner, I have no souls. We are lost. Fair, I just realized I didn't have my armor on either. But now I can roll into somebody, apparently. So let's see, can I add the helmet and be under? Yes. Well, my pants. No. So I'll just run around looking at this for a little while, I guess. So now, uh, I'm not going to dick around with it. Now I can come up in here. Go me there. Oh, shit, I might actually have to have these guys come all the way out here. Holy shit, the whole friggin' train. Wow. Closer than it should have been. But it's better to, better to get them out there. Oh, usually he falls. way back.
should have stopped. Alright, back this way. Ready, ready, ready. And now he is fighting them again. You suck. Ah. Uh, well, I was going to say, your souls are where you last died. And I was going to pick them up. But apparently not. What a stupid mistake. Cocky and then get careless. That is just what happened. Wait. What? Come here. Why is it not? Being really shit at parrying. Nah, I don't I really don't want to waste those. Just a couple at a time. through my grasses. Yeah, I don't want to waste these, so I will equip them, because we will need them later. again they must have fixed that because when walking up here he used to leap and then accidentally fall all the way down it was comical it was great Kind of like that, but he, you know, he'd do it himself. I don't think if I had all my armor on, I would have survived that explodey barrel boy, anyways. Just because you looked at me funny.
Whoop. Yeah, so here is my souls from last time. 449. That means now I lost way more than that. Ah, out by the dragons. Yes, come here. Not with that bullshit. Dick. Trying to do the blue bastard. Shit. Can I? No. And if he dies, then that's a uh, side quest. Yeah. Oh, I finished him off. Hit, hit, hit. Glad I could help. Whoa! Guillotine axe? I've actually never seen that one. What is that? Guillotine axe. It's a slashy boy. Oh. I'm not strong enough with one hand. Oh. Why would it require? Strength 28. And what's my strength? 14. Mm. All right, well, I'm not going to dick around with it then right now. Where'd you go to now? Leave him alone. Oh, he's not going down there anyway, so. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Yeah. Is there a single saint? Oh. Um. No. But I hear you, man. I hear you. Hit me with what? I'm going to be pissed if I die. These little punks. I'm getting more grass, but I'm also using more grass, so it's not really proving it. Another one of those, don't care. Yeah, 
shut up. That's what you get, mate. That's what you get. Now maybe I could do this correctly this time. Come on, really? Try to do it without. I'm not going to mess with the dragons right now, I guess. They don't actually, they're doing well at their job, which is annoying to me. Lure you here. Back stand. I want to make him go back over here. I'm not going for those items. Cranky. Jesus. Just to be safe. So now that he's having to sit down, I'm going to try and. Yep. Nope. I'm running. Can't be bothered right now. Wow. They really did that. 
sense of scale there. Thrilled about something. What's the other homie here? No, no, no. Mm. Say so don't. All right, now you can fall. I don't care. Ugh. Now you gotta deal with these pus bags to get around them because they have this shield. It's very difficult to get around. Awesome damage, but when you do get around it, you take them out a couple of hits. And what they are telling you is uh, get good at taking them guys out because there will be more. Just a little foreshadow, which is cool. This is this whole first part is a great tutorial. Like that shows you, you know, those fire guys in the, in the barrel that blow themselves up. You know, it shows you, hey, these are explosive. Be careful. Um, Now, let's put on our clothes. Uh, pine resin and firebomb. Fuck, I really only have two firebombs. I wonder if... Let me, I'm going to go up here and go visit our slimy thief again. Let's see what he has for sale. Because I don't remember if he has firebombs or not. The next enemy is quite uh, weak to fire, so... That's where I'm going with all this.
do you have? Yes, I will take four of them. And I guess that's it. Thanks for that. Come back. Yep, we'll do. We'll do. thing is you don't want to get in the habit of just running around like this because it switches there and I kept running around and I fell all the way down there once like an idiot okay so I got my pine resin and my fire bombs slow as crap anyway eh, I can do I'd rather do this one although that was pretty quick too with two hands nah I just prefer that um yeah I suppose let's just get into it This is the balance. And they are super plain susceptible. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs>
You don't have to get rid of all these homeboys, but... Why are we here? But now I don't have to pick that up. Look there, look at that archer lady, archer lady. So yeah, that was a demon. And now if you look, I am in no more blue glow and uh, I have my full health in the top left. Then we go over here, we're like, ooh, what's this thing? Let's touch it. Ah, blood demon sword. And we can go back to the Nexus safe house welcome back the monumental awaits the above Explain the nexus to thee. Cool. All right. So, um, cool lady with a torch talks about a monumental, shows us we got to go all the way up there. Actually, I never noticed the upside down one before. Huh. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to call it here. Because I've been going for well over an hour, I think. And that's a little more than I usually do. So I will call it there. And then uh, we'll start fresh here. Until next time.